Well, hello, everyone. Today is Wednesday. I'm taking Wednesday off instead of Thursday this week. Going to meet some uh, local oh, riders, trikers from the, uh, I guess they're coming from Austin. God, the wind is horrible again. Austin and Houston and Conroe and that area. And we're going down to uh, Lockhart to Black's Barbecue. Um, I usually never come these kind of roads because of this. Uh, traffic rush hour should be over, but look at this. It's already 9.15, and we still got stopped traffic on 183. Kind of sucks. Good thing I left a little bit early. I got 30 minutes to get there. Oh, there might be a wreck up here. I see some flashing lights. But anyway, going to meet some people. I don't usually do this because I they usually meet on Wednesdays, and and I usually am working Wednesday. So I'm going to start maybe taking Wednesdays off instead of Thursdays, since Thursdays a little heavier for work anyway in the spring. So I thought I'd give it a shot. I've met them, oh, some of them one other time once a long time ago, and can't hurt. I mean, uh, get some riding buddies, maybe take some trips. I think in April, April 2nd, everybody's going to Twisted Sisters, and I don't know if I'll do that because it's, I don't know. I'd just rather do something like that just with my wife and I. But anyway, I'll turn it back on a little bit later. Bye. One thing I was thinking of is I'm 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 so grateful that I haven't had to commute since uh, my last commute was had to go to work down here every day. It was last time I had to commute was 2002, and it's 2016 now, and I've been working from home ever since. And oh my God, I'm so thankful because I could just go nuts sitting in this traffic day after day after day after day and on the way to work and on the way home that would just be miserable so i'm so thankful all i do is walk down the stairs get coffee walk up another flight of stairs to my office so i'm so thankful for that anyway bye well here's where i'm supposed to meet some other riders at this chevron station up here i'll probably be the only one here from a little probably about uh, 15 minutes early Let's meet here at 9.45, so we'll see if anybody else is here. Oh, yep, I see one. I see a motorcycle. Anyway, we'll find out. I used to work um, to the right up here years ago bad part of town. I mean, they were gunshots. I worked up in a big building up there at a uh, high-tech company, and uh, I heard there were gunshots at night when you went out there, and uh, we built a lot of computer circuit boards, and they built a lot of memory, and back in 1989, 90, 91, memory was super expensive, and they had an Asian gang come in there late at night when no one was there. We had security guards, and they broke in and uh, you know tied up a security guard in the in his office and they pulled the trigger and the gun misfired and they went in and stole a lot of memory and uh, scary times. I mean, uh, amazing what people will do to steal stuff. Anyway, I don't see anybody here, so I'm going to turn in and. I see a Harley. Anyway, bye. Well, here we go. We're meeting up with all these people. A couple trikes, a couple uh, Can-Ams. There's one trike up there and three Can-Ams, and the rest are motorcycles. It's going 
going to be fun. We're going to go get some uh, Black's Barbecue in um, Lockhart. Well, we're off on the way. I got uh, several behind me. I got a, a 2014 Spider behind me. Couple uh, Kawasaki. I forgot what they were. Big, big twins. Couple spiders ahead of me. Uh, another Kawasaki trike ahead of me, and a, a Harley dresser ahead of me. Anyway, kind of cool. I've never ridden with anybody before. Trikes take up the, the whole lane, so they don't have to ride side by side like that. Just ride behind him. Anyway, I'm supposed to pick up another guy at 183 and 71. Better turn it off now. Going by the airport, you can see the southwest flight coming in. Anyway, we're pulling over here to pick up another rider, and then we're going to head down to uh, Lockhart, which isn't too far from here. Anyway, I'll turn it on. I think when we pull over, I'll get some of these other guys pulling in. I think I'm the only one that has a GoPro. Anyway, turn it back on a little bit. Now, there is a different kind of trike. I don't know if that's a... Uh, oh, it looks like a solid axle. That can't be the... Uh, Oh, that Harley Freestyle or whatever that is. That almost looks like a homemade trike. Never seen one of those. Anyway, back. Let's get a closer look at this Harley. I don't know what that is. Anybody have a clue what that is? Almost looks like a... It, it definitely is a conversion. Looks like it still has the fender on from being two wheels. That's kind of cool, though. I don't know what it is. Homemade. Can't look in my mirror. I see the guys behind me. Anyway, bye. Okay, here we are turning into coming into Lockhart. It's like we're turning right up here. There's quite a few and there's going to be a few from Houston coming here too. I've had their barbecue before but I've never come here before to eat it. My son came home from San Marcos and swung through here to grab some. It was pretty good. I've had the brisket. It was really good. Got some noisy Harleys. Still haven't figured out what that was. It looks like a, looks like a Sportster converted.
come in here. We are. I don't see the other people here, so. This guy here has got a really nice Can-Am 14 with LEDs all over. He's got custom paint on the front. They're really kind of cool. Anyway, I'll throw some stuff in there. Well, that's a that's the same as mine. That's the yeah, the, the razor, razor yeah. She's like in her 70s. That's awesome. And it's a Sportster converted. That is so cool. Why I keep losing connection? Here we go. Finished eating at Black's and now we're going for a little ride. Put my air hawk on. This butt's going to get sore. Here we go. I'm going to run by him. I'm just shooting some video of the, there's a spider ahead of me, uh, it's a lady, and there's a, 
OJ up front, a couple guys, uh, Harley, the Harley and a couple of Hondas behind me. Coming into San Marcos here. I think we're going to head over to Wimberley, too. In Wimberley now, this is where they had the, the flood come through here and wiped out a lot of these... Uh, well, not a lot, I don't know if a lot of, but a big major flood come through here this year. Uh, they, I know it wiped out a, a building down here that used to buy the, the metal art my wife liked. Let's see, drive by there and see what it's like. at the river down here again. We we'll passed it back there and you can see how the trees are way up high and they were kind of wiped out and stripped. Place right down here to our left along the river that got the water was all the way up into these buildings. I'll see if it's still there. They fixed it up. Oh. It's still there. This right here on this building on the left. Oh no, it is doesn't look the same. No, oh, that's it though. It looks totally different. Look at the resurface that lot. It must have got washed out. Anyway, there's still probably one, two, three, four, maybe five bikes behind me. I jumped ahead just so I could shoot some video of them all. Anyway, bye.